Hello everyone, I uh, hope that you have had a great week uh, this past week and that you are getting this new week off to a great start. Um, what I want to do is, I'm going to share with you this morning three reasons why people fail to live their dreams. And I'm not, when I say dreams, I'm not talking about fantasies. I'm talking about the visions implanted in your DNA, the things you have yearned to do and achieve that have merit, that have value, <coughs> and uh, things that will allow you to do exceptional and extraordinary things in this world for more than just yourself. Uh, nothing wrong with wanting wealth, nothing wrong with wanting nice things. So all those things can fit in when the intent is right. But there are three things that I look at that are almost prevalent in every situation where people are consistently and almost systematically failing to hit their targets and reach their dreams. I'm not talking about perfect panaceas and everything flows right. I've never seen that life before. I'm talking about living enriched lives. And before I do, I want to really point you to something real quick because I've been sharing this with you guys uh, and I've extended it. Today is the last day that this is extended. Um, and I haven't really talked about it a lot because I put it out there if you, it, and I believe if people want to do it, they do it. But anyway, uh, two things. First thing is the uh, seven day online business launch course. If you don't own your own business, if you don't have at least two independent streams of income, actually, that are outside the scope of your primary income, you need to take this course. And the course is normally uh, regularly $607. And for the remainder of this day, and this is it, it's going to be over with. It goes back to the regular price of $607. It's $99. But also, there is the 12 month um, elevation and empowerment transformative immersion where you guys are going to work uh, 30 people uh, get a chance to work with me for a year um, consistent work there's literally a syllabus for each month that the work we're going to do and the things we're going to focus on and the things we're going to change and the evolution you're going to take a journey with me as I take this journey every year I'm on a journey I'm not satisfied with being the person I am accomplishing the things I've done I'm about being better each and every day each and every week each and every month each and every year and I'm taking 30 people on this journey with me to show you how you advance your life year by year and so this immersion uh, is to me I think extremely extremely affordable for 12 months with yours truly um, we're talking $597 now for today only if you get the 12 month immersion I'll give you the seven day online business launch course today only but that that's going to be up to you now three reasons people fail to achieve their dreams number one fear Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of loss, fear of other people's assessment of what they're doing, the ridicule and cri criticism they may receive, and this fear paralyzes them. But I am a firm believer that everything worth having, everything that's valuable, everything that has uh, the capacity to transform your life is on the other side of that fear that you keep backing away from. That fear that has you pushed up in a corner, hiding and searching for comfort. It's moving beyond that fear. It's engaging that fear. It's sitting up and saying, whatever happens, happens, but I'm not going to sit still and bypass my purpose, bypass my destiny, bypass this opportunity to do something beyond what I've ever done in my life. I'm going to seize this moment. I'm going all out. Today is the day that I'm changing the way I approach day. Today is the day I'm making up in my mind that I'm 100% committed to doing something. You're not going to uh, be able to, to live your dream uh, acquiescing to fear. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, it's going to be scary. It's, it's going, sometimes you're going to feel petrified. Teach yourself to act 
the moment you feel fear. That's how I conquered fear in my life. The moment I become afraid, I take action. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, I stopped fearing dying a long time ago. And to, to a lot of people, that's the worst thing that, that that can happen to you. To me, it's not. To me, dying isn't the worst thing that can happen to you because it's going to happen to you. It's inevitable. You are not going to get around it. But hey, to me, the worst thing that can happen is to live your life unfulfilled, to live your life not achieve, not having achieved are actualized and fulfill your potential. To me, that's the worst thing, to sit up and wake up one day and realize you wasted so much of this precious time on this planet running away from the very thing you were put here to do. And so that's the greatest thing. So that's the first thing is fear. The second thing is uh, overvaluing and giving way too much gravity to the opinions of others. And a lot of times you hear me say, uh, giving gravity to the opinions of minimal minded people. What do I mean by that? People who don't have large dreams, people who don't see outside of the box, people who are okay with being average and mediocre, people who are fine with the status quo. And so what do they do? They do that. And people who are okay with average like people who are average. And so they're, they're, they're going at not be comfortable with someone who's stretching. They're not going to be comfortable. And some of that comfort is the conviction that comes with your potential success. See, if you decide to get out of that box that everybody's in, you take with you the excuses that everybody's using. And so getting out of that box is a conviction to their mediocrity that, no, you can do something different. Yes, your background and where you came from presented you with some initial challenges, but everybody has challenges no matter where they start. The challenges may be different, but there are challenges nonetheless, but you have to be willing to go out there and actually uh, push yourself beyond that. People who are familiar with my life know my challenges, know that I had a rough start, know that I've had challenges, know that I've had challenges the last two years. What are you going to do? You're going to sit up and act, hell no, you don't sit up and go, well, it's just what it is. Look, suffering is not your lot in life. Poverty is not your lot in life. Being miserable is not your lot in life. Being with someone who does not love you is not your lot in life. What is your lot in life is the opportunity to change what you don't like about your life. That's your lot. You get to do that. You have the capacity. God gave you the innate capacity. If you don't like your situation, you can change it. We are the only species on this planet that can do that. Just simply say, hey, I don't like this. And change it. I didn't say it was easy. I said it was possible. So you got to get out of that. Stop looking to other people to validate your vision. Stop looking to spiritually blind people to validate your vision. Your vision is of a spiritual nature. It's so much deeper than fantasy. I'm not talking about fantasy. I'm talking about the vision. I'm talking about the dream. I'm talking about the thing that is deeply implanted in your DNA, literally flowing through your cells. And finally, number three, procrastination. Procrastination is not only the thief of time, it is the thief of opportunity. How many times have you heard me say that? But yet, people procrastinate. They put it off. They're procrastinating because they don't uh, uh, like the odds. They're procrastinating because they're afraid of the outcome. They're procrastinating because they're waiting on the perfect opportunity. They're procrastinating because they're waiting on the perfect timing. They're procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating. If you are procrastinating, you definitely need to be in this immersive uh, because we're going to deal with procrastination on a major level. But procrastination, I, I, I'm going to do it when. I'm going to do it when the kids get go to college. I'm going to do it when uh, the finances get better. I'm going to do it when uh, things aren't so hectic on the job. I'm going to do it when things get better with me and Bay. All these different things. Had you ever thought that maybe things would get better with you and Bay if you did it? Stop acquiescing to the urge to sit up and pass by opportunities. Procrastination will rob you of the most precious things in this world. The things
things that are a part of your vision and your dream, stop it. Those three things are things you're gonna have to overcome. This is what I help my clients do, but you're gonna have to find a way to get past that. So look, on this note, I'm gonna get ready to get off here. As I always say, I live my life on full so that when I leave this place, I die on E. I'm challenging you to do the same thing. And take advantage of the opportunity to work with me. If not, at least take advantage of getting that seven day online business launch course at $99. Because again, after today, it goes back to $607. That's a way that you can literally use the blueprint that I've used for almost 14 years to create online business opportunities and revenue streams, uh, automate them and keep going and do it all wash and repeat. It's what I've done literally for, like I said, almost 14 years on the internet. Um, again, you need to take responsibility and control of your destiny. I'm never gonna promise you it's gonna be easy. I'm never gonna promise you it's just smooth sailing. What I'm gonna tell you is you have the helm. You're at the helm of your life and you get to write out this story. You get to push and direct your path. Take control of the reins of your life today. On that note, look, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.